All right, welcome to Blender. This is Blender 2.5. Its interface has changed quite a bit. The main reason for this series to exist is the simple fact that I always run into the same problem with students, always. And the, the problem is this. All students go, well, 3D is expensive. And there's no doubt about it. Like Maya, for Maya alone, as a student value, is like maybe two to 300 bucks. And if you went into the commercial version, which you can actually sell and produce things for um, the commercial end, it's into the thousands. Uh, ZBrush is another application, like 600 bucks. So where do young people go to actually uh, get involved with 3D nowadays? Now, Autodesk Maya actually allows you to have a student variation of Maya, which is non-commercial. And it runs just the same way as the professional application. But another gripe I get is it doesn't run on my computer. My computer's too slow to run it. Okay, So that's why I'm picking Blender as my target uh, for my next series, to get young people involved with 3D that always wanted to produce video games. We f must first learn how to model. So why not use Blender as a catalyst for that? And this new series is very free oriented. In other words, all applications that I'm going to be using from the series is going to be free. Okay. Um, now, that being said, I, I might wander into Photoshop every once in a while. Um, certainly, we can use GIMP for that. So I'm going to try to stay away from commercial applications as best as I can. It's a very addictive thing for an artist if you already have the applications to go back to an, uh, a freeware version. But that's the idea behind the series. One, to get kids interested in 3D that can't afford 3D, and two, to keep it free. Now, when I am done, I am going to sell this on DVD. It's going to be free to the world on YouTube, but if you want the entire series collected, all packaged up with everything, it's going to be on DVD eventually. Now, it takes me a long time to do an entire series, and I usually do about 12 chapters. This is unit one. And that breaks up to a normal college-bound curriculum, okay? Because they have 12 to 16 weeks in a, in a college. All right, so I hope you like the new series. Um, first, start off by downloading Blender. You can get that at blender.org. And then afterwards, when you install it, and I would install it just in your program files 86 directory, because it, I don't think it installs very easy as far as like you, you can download it and then you have to manually put it in to this directory, Program Files 86. If you get the 64-bit, if they do finally got one out, uh, it would go into the Program Files. If you're using this on a Mac, it goes in the Applications directory. You can also put it on a thumb drive if you wanted to and take it to school with you. If you wanted to practice at school, certainly you can jump right on board. All you do is need uh, the, the actual project file folder, so Blender 2.5, and in that contains all these files. Runs right off a thumb drive. That's what's so great about it. It also has the ability to mimic an interface or navigation point like Maya. So if you ever wanted to go to Maya, you'd be able to learn it right from Blender. All the hotkeys are the same. All right, so that's it for the series. I just want to introduce you to that. Please move on to the next video where I can get you started with the first assignment.